Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. First, I want to thank you for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. Yesterday evening, the Senate opened up the stimulus bill for debate. And Senator Ron Johnson demanded that they read the entire bill before acting on anything. That's right, all 628 pages to be read aloud to the chamber. Ron Johnson is just wanting to hold up things because reading 628 pages will take around 10 hours. And they are going to have a votorama after this is done. It was supposed to happen yesterday, but it didn't. On kind of Ron Johnson wanting this bill read. Now it will happen today. So he got his way. He held us up another day. They are still looking at 20 hours of debate and votorama sessions when they come back into session today. Ron Johnson is also planning on filibustering the vote with hundreds of amendments. Ron Johnson is looking at having three shifts so it don't tire the senators out too bad. Poor babies. Rand Paul said this could easily go on for another day or two. All of this in the Senate is just to hold up the process and delay the American people from getting the help that they desperately need. Y'all, I hope and pray on next election that the American people will remember these Republican senators and vote all Republicans out of office. They do not care anything about the American people they only care for their rich friends on Wall Street and their campaign donors. And they prove it time and time again. They bail out Wall Street with trillions of dollars many times over, but they can't help the American people. Chuck Schumer still says that they will stay and work on this until it is passed. He says it will be passed this week and all of the stalling tactics will not delay passing of the bill. Chuck Schumer, I wish you would explain to the people so we would understand how you expect to get this done with all of these stalling tactics. I don't think it's going to get done. I believe that this bill will end up being voted on and passed without anything from the Senate. Y'all, this is just how petty the Senate is. They think the longer they waste time, this will give them more leverage when it comes to the amendments. They think if they go right up to the time that the House is going to just have to fold and say, okay, whatever you want, we'll do it. But that's not going to happen because the House can totally ignore anything that they put in. We don't need the Senate to get this bill passed through reconciliation. So they're just wasting time for the sake of wasting time. Oh, and another thing on Ron Johnson wanting this entire 628 page bill read out loud. Guess how, how many people, how many senators stayed and listened 
to the reading of this bill. You guessed it, one, Ron Johnson. What an ass he is. Y'all, we do have some good news. The Senate Politarian, Politarian I wish I could say that word right, y'all, removed Nancy Pelosi's pet project from the bill. Now Nancy Pelosi will not get her subway in her district, which would have been $100 million of funding that could go to help the American people. Also removed from the bill is $1.5 million for the Seaway National Bridge in Chuck Schumer's district. Nancy Pelosi responded to this with, great, now you can just vote and pass the bill because everything that you was complaining about is now gone. Nancy, if those things would not have been in there in the first place, we wouldn't be talking about it now. And we know that with these things gone, they'll just find something else to fuss about. Okay, where we're at now on the stimulus. The $15 minimum wage is out. We knew it would be, but it can be picked up in the infrastructure bill that's coming up after this one gets passed. And it could likely be passed then. Y'all, I know people need $15 an hour. I remember what it's like to work for minimum wage. All the people that's complaining against the $15 an hour, they either make more than that or they're sitting at home receiving a check and don't work at all. So they don't know what it's like to work for minimum wage. I understand both sides of the coin. The $200 boost to Social Security is now out. But then, really and truly, was it ever in? I don't think it was. I think that was a political lie, just to get the votes. You know, they wanted to get rid of the $400 unemployment boost. They wanted it to be knocked down to $300. Well, it looks like it's still going to be $400. With the trade-off of who can actually get the stimulus check, it's more targeted now, just what they wanted. Right now, if, you, if you're single and make $80,000 or more, you will not get anything. And there's a lot of people I've noticed in my comments saying if you make $80,000 or more, you don't need a stimulus check. Well, this stimulus check is not about need. It's about rebuilding the economy. Therefore, everyone should get it. And for the people that does make $80,000, they have higher bills to pay. They have higher car notes. They have higher mortgage notes. So their 80000 does not go any further than our smaller amounts because they have higher ticket items. So yes, they do need it too. And at the same time, it will stimulate the economy. The Mooch Man, if you ever think he does not have power, you are wrong. You are dead wrong. Mooch Man has just as much power as he always had. The Mooch Man himself said that the economy is struggling to get back on its feet. Really, Mooch Man? It took you how long to figure this out? We've been trying to tell you this for months and months, and you will not listen. But now you've got it figured out? So why don't you just go ahead and get the bill passed? You can persuade your people to pass this bill the way it is and quit wasting time. Help the American people. But you won't do that. 
because you're a greedy pile of garbage. He also said that the Senate will be fighting in every way they can, and he hopes that the Senate Republicans will oppose everything. Well, he's getting his way with Ron Johnson. Ron Johnson is holding up everything. Him and his wife stole money from PPP and got away with it. That money was not for them. It was for the American people that was struggling. They're not struggling. Mooch man, I hear a prison cell calling you. Y'all, let me know how you feel about all of this garbage. We will get through it. And I don't think it's going to be much longer. I know it won't be as long as it has been. Y'all, keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through this. He's already got a plan. We just don't understand what it is yet. But we will in time. Y'all, I love you all. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our leaders. Whether you like them or not, whether you think they're doing a, their job or not, and most of them are not doing their job, but they still need our prayers. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting th with COVID, through financial problems, through any other afflictions. The whole world needs a healing, and there's only one person that can do that, and that's Jesus Christ. I love you all. Until next time, ciao.